I'm so happy you left it. Right at the end. Yes. Oh my god. Yeah, you that for me. You're on my shoes, Kevin, by the way. Oh yeah, so you got. Oh them. my god. Yeah. Kevin, you want to slip? Oh, yeah, Kevin really McCarthy, Washington D.C. Yeah, you're right there. So this cool. Is so crazy. And, all right, so I gotta get out with you guys. First of all, I'm so blown away by the scenes when the bullets are reflecting off your arms. How does that look on set? I know there's CGI involved, but what are you seeing? How do you know where to look when the bullet comes in and hits your arm? Imagination, imagination, imagination. Really? Yes. That's amazing. Because there's nothing. Yeah, it's just yeah. You just do the choreography and you assume where the bullet <laughs> hit. And then, yeah, you play off, I played off my imagination. What about the lasso? Do you, are you holding anything yes. for that? What, what does it look like? Uh, it looked like one, it looks like one it's long... It's a piece of rope. Yeah, a piece of <laughs> rope right? that has lights on it. You have an amazing emotional sequence when you're talking, when you're talking to Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman, and the hair goes in front of your face and you wipe it away in the shot. It's a very, like... <laughs> Do you, remember, you know what I'm talking about? It's a very cool shot. I was wondering. My, my hair? Yeah, your hair goes in front of your eye and you wipe it away. I was wondering if that was an improv moment. It was. It's a fantastic it's really question. Good in that. What? When, when did that happen? <laughs> There's a scene. You're literally having an emotional scene. You're taking scene. it too seriously. It's like, shh. You got no, like this. this. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, you know, great. It's really good. Do you remember that moment? Oh yeah, it's one of my favorite ones. Yeah, that was really, sure. really cool. Now, I'm, I'm, I love the idea of Radical. filmmaking, and I was so blown away by the idea that you shot uh, reshoots on when you were five months pregnant, which is amazing to me. To me, the beauty of that is your child's actually in the film. I know, I thought of it too. And, and what does that mean for you? Also, how, what did it, is it true that they actually put a green? Yeah. How did that, what, what did that look like for you? Uh, very funny, weird, and funny. <laughs> were you able to do certain movements? Were you able to actually, like, like Oh yeah, yeah, I did everything that was needed you know I did everything I needed to do uh, and now my uh, my younger daughter is gonna be part of this movie as much as my oldest one my oldest one came to set all the time yeah she was flirting flirting with Chris all the time <laughs> she didn't care about me or the customer or anything she cared about the the candies at crafty and and doing She's a flirt. <laughs> she's sassy. Um, so she was. A, she's very much part of the movie for me. When people watch the movie, can they? Uh, what would be a scene where you would, that you did reshoot that you were, when you were pregnant? Hmm. Somewhere in the third act. Okay. I can't tell you exactly where. That's cool though. Okay. Um, one of the things I love about filmmaking is when I saw Batman vs Superman, which I absolutely love. I'm a big Zack Snyder fan. I was one of the people who just loved that film. I saw it five times and twice in 70 wow. millimeter. It was awesome. Holy and I'm wondering that photo, that famous photo that's in there of all five of you standing there, was that something that you guys had shot earlier and then redid in Wonder Woman? Or was that something that they did like? No, that was like one of our first days of shooting we shot that. Really? And that may have been before production started. Yeah. Because they had to get that to go use. To, for Batman for versus Batman Superman. Versus. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I'm wondering, like, the, like being, teaching that humanity to that character. That, that, to me, was the main theme of this film. I love hmm. that. Can you talk about what that meant to, like, teach someone about humanity? Um, that's a good question. I, I, that is, and that really is the, the core of that dynamic. I would just say that it was a lot of Patty. Uh, there were a couple moments where I had to do that. I really had no idea what the hell I was doing. I was so frustrated, and Patty just kept on, <laughs> kept on, and kept on, and kept on pushing and pushing and pushing, and then, uh, uh, yeah. She 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 had a very very clear vision on mm. the story that she wants to tell, and and I think that the three of us working together, having Patty as our captain, was was a phenomenal experience because she. She, it was very important for all of us that other than the action and, and all of the spectacle things that we have a heart to the story and yeah. also a message. Um, and I think that this is something that we were able to do with, uh, you know, with Patty leading up you know, leading, leading all of us. It was awesome. They wrapped me up. It was an absolute pleasure to meet you both. Thanks, Thank man. you Good so much. You. Thank you. Nice to see you, by the way. So great to see you. All right, so I'm, I want to nerd out with you because I have so many questions about how you film these amazing moments. So when she's blocking bullets, yeah. is anything actually happening on set? Is there, are things, expl I mean, I know that you have CGI involved, but are things yeah. happening there? Is she? No, not in, not there. Okay. Okay, on the shield, yes. Oh, on awesome. the shield, we actually had, it's vibrating and stuff is shooting off the shield. But on this, no. Which is interesting because it's its own. I mean, it's very complicated it's a, because yeah. you're we're moving something towards her so that her eye is tracking something, 
and then she's imagining it hitting. But you're, but it's really like not like it, it, that kind of stuff was so interesting to film because there's nothing to make it real yet she makes it so real. It looks unbelievable. What about yeah. the lasso? Is the lasso is there any, is there anything practical there for there that? There is, but it's not as long and it's not doing what a la what the magic lasso does, yeah. you know. And so um, that also takes a tremendous amount of acting and, and imagining the lasso as great as it is when she's holding an illuminated piece of hose, you know? <laughs> It's pretty wow. crazy, yeah. That's amazing. Uh, one of the things I loved about the movie was just like, you have these very interesting shots at times. And when she gets on the horse, you have a sideways shot yeah. of the force. I'm curious, like, that as a director choosing that, and then you also have a really cool overhead shot when she's blocking the bullets on, on the, um, in the battle. Yeah. Can you talk about, like, having those decisions, what those shots mean for you as a filmmaker, and, like, yeah. having the sideways one? That was cool. Yeah, the sideways one was just straight up you know, old school music video days. Yeah. Because I was sitting there and we'd shot so many other things and I was like, how can, how, what else can we add? What else can we do that we don't have? And so that was very on the fly. Just, I don't know, crank it the other way and let's do it. Cool. But then things like the battlefield, what was wonderful about it was the whole thing I approached exactly like I would any emotional scene. Mm. So you're, I'm in her point of view, that whole beginning. I'm telling the story of, boom, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm cutting to the things that tell that story. But then it's not until she gets down that you're pulling out. It's like huh. you're picking your moments to pull out to accompany her story, but you're not telling it from a distant point of view. Mm. You're telling it from her point of view. And so it's just, a, it's, it was, it was fascinating because the truth is it's just like directing drama. Now there's a moment in the film, and I, I don't know why I noticed this, but it was so small. When Chris Pine is has an emotional scene with her, his hair goes into his face and then he pushes, pushes it away. It. I love that was moment. Was that improv? Was that meant to happen as the character or did that just happen in that the scene? That just happened. That performance was so oh, beautiful yeah. from both of them. That was, it's one of the pride and joy, that scene is one of the pride and joy scenes for me of the film because that is not an easy performance and there are lots of them. But it's funny, a few people have asked me what's the hardest scene to do. On the one hand, the beach battle and no man's land and the big action sequences. On the other hand, that dramatic scene and a few others where they gave just tour de force performances, which is always, you know, you gotta really dig into it and 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 all support each other and getting that done together. And so and I was blown away and so proud it's of that. Amazing. I love that you shot on film by the way because Me too. I think it's And looked, you always have been looked, a great supporter. Yeah, it looks so good. I mean even every little scene, every the grain of it, it's just beautiful. And yeah. I'm wondering the, the decision was that hard I know Zach shot Man of Steel on yeah. film. I know David shot Suicide Squad on film. Yeah. So were you was that something you had to fight for? Did you or did they, they yeah. say, okay, just we'll let you shoot thirty five? And can you talk about why yeah. thirty five versus digital yeah. as a filmmaker? So for the first time ever I had the cinematographer who the, who did this movie with me, the incredible Matthew Jensen. He and I had just been about to do another movie, a black comedy, and we had spent so much time putting together a presentation of why we had to shoot on film. Mm. I don't believe that you have to shoot everything on film, but sometimes there are certain things that you still cannot do on, on, on digital. You have to do them on film. So we had been fighting and fighting and fighting to do it on this other film, so we were all ready to go when, when we switched over and decided to do Wonder Woman instead. And so, you know, it was the, the, but the greatest conversation I've ever had was when my producer said to me, oh, so by the way, what, what were you planning on shooting? Okay, so here's the thing. <laughs> I know you're gonna feel that, but I really believe that I wanna shoot on film. He's like, oh good, because we really believe in that here. Wow. And I was like, what? I couldn't believe that thanks to Chris Nolan, who really has been, who one of the, yeah. Very few people who has saved film from yeah. being made extinct. Tarantino and yeah. yeah, all these guys. I mean, those guys have single-handedly kept film alive. I, you know, the reason why I'll say, so I've come up shooting film and, and working on films for a long time. Digital has come a long way. Mm -hmm. Digital does a lot of great things. There are things I really like about digital, uh, but they're, they are not the same. And there is some sort of strange myth that, oh, you can do everything now on digital. Well, if that was true, why do all the great, great, great filmmakers still shoot on film? That's exactly my is point. Is it because they know less? Yeah. Is it because they're more haphazard? Is it because they can't move on to new information? No. It's because there is a certain kind of epic, grander escapism yep. that film gives you that you cannot, you will struggle very hard to get that on video. It is what it is. And so, you know, I, I think it would be the greatest tragedy if film were to go away. And I, you know, 
I love great epic movies, so I probably will shoot a lot on it. But even like a Coen Brothers style comedy, you can't transcend the mm. real world as effortlessly as you can. It ends up looking like a cheap, you know, a, 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 yeah. you know, like that was always my comparison. You can look like a cheap rom-com or you can look like a Coen Brothers movie. It's about the world that you put in. So if, if you're willing to pay very little more for an A-list of actor versus a, 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 someone who's never acted before, if you're willing to pay more for uh, you know, a better set than a cheaper set, why on earth is it such a big deal to pay a tiny bit more to shoot on the greatest medium in history, film? Yeah. I, I'll never get it. I'm making that answer my ringtone on my phone. That was like, <laughs> I mean, that was, that, that was amazing. Good. I, I had so many, but they wrapped me up, but it was awesome to see you, by I'm the way. I'm so excited to and meet I love you. How you there's a great moment in the film where, uh, well, it's, not, it's, it's, a, it's a horrifying moment where you guys throw the gas into the, the room of all the people, <laughs> and as you close the door, you make a joke. Like, like <laughs> it was like, it was like, oh, uh, why'd you throw a gas mask? They don't, they won't need it anyways. Whatever, it'll be funny. <laughs> you just talk about like mm. finding that uh, humor and that well, villainous character. You know, that was... uh, 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 Dr. Moreau, uh, Elena, who and I worked quite hard at, at creating this relationship that we both had, and we, and, and we, we we came up with the concept which makes sense to me, that the best relationships are not about each other, but about a dream that you share hmm. together. Um, and so we have this, this ambition, and I have great respect for her because of her intelligence and her ability to create these formulas. Um, and, uh, and so we thought, well, you know, I'm probably quite attracted, and, and you've, she's, she's guard her face sacrificially to, 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 to create these, these, these uh, devilish things that she does um, and uh, that there, maybe there were times that that we'd have fun <laughs> together <laughs> but it was such a and, great line yeah, and, and patty jenkins <laughs> god bless her uh kept it in because i thought it may not did actually, you improv that uh, well i don't know if we we improv but we the, the laughter certainly wasn't written that's funny uh, um and um so we thought we'd you know make a joke and laugh and laugh about it and and uh, uh i didn't know if it would actually make make the cut in the film, and it did, which I'm delighted. Now, when you play a villain in a, a film, the person you're playing doesn't consider himself to be a villain. He, th he thinks that what he's doing is the right thing to do. I mean, I, I would assume that that's how most characters that way feel. Do you have to find a personal justification? Like, uh, like do you have to find, like, do you have to personally justify why he's doing these things to yourself? Uh, yeah, well, yes, absolutely. And, and uh, like, in, in all wars, there, there are casualties. Mm. Um, and um, he's um, uh, not all that preoccupied with the, with, with the number of people that will die as long as it achieves peace, finally. Mm. Um, so he's, he's uh, uh, it's polar opposites to, to, to Wonder Woman, but in a sense, they want the same result. Right. Uh, so it's, it's his is sort of sinister and <laughs> not all that pleasant to observe. Yeah. But uh, finally, he, he's, he's committed. Uh, yeah. um, and uh, and he's a he's a general. He, de he deals with wars, so that's that's his domain. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, you, you kind of do have to justify it. But also, I think that in a film like this, you kind of want to relish it a little bit too, mm -hmm. and so that you can enjoy it, so that the audience can enjoy sure. his 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 badness. Yeah. And and so ha having a moment where they're laugh laughing and and to keep it a little bit light in that yeah. sense uh, makes it makes it entertaining. It's like winking a little bit. Yeah, kind of no, it's fun. Well, yeah. it's good to see you, Danny. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah. One thing I love about your character is this battle that she's having because she wants her daughter to succeed and do and do what she's meant to do, but she also doesn't want her to leave. And you have that great line where you say, "Today you're my my, my sorrow." And I was just wondering, like, when you have to find that balance as an actor and get that like that middle ground, is that tough to find? And you know, do you how, where do you have to go to find that element? You know, it's good writing. If yeah. it's good writing and it's organic, the way it's set up, the way that the, the, the sequence happens, and you're doing it with a great director, it just really all just falls into place rather effortlessly, I should say. The yeah. horse riding stuff, is that, is that something you like, did you know that from previous films? Did you? No, I had just like done a little bit of horseback riding, like just like in my free time, but nothing special. They just, Warner Brothers set up an incredible training regimen for all of us and we all train together in teams 
So what you're seeing is really the outcome of this incredible program yeah. of training that I think they should patent and send out there for every woman. I can't even tell you just how physically amazing it feels to be on that regime and yeah. and you f you just get to feel so physically and emotionally powerful. Now obviously you worked with Ridley Scott who's one of my favorite filmmakers of all time and you work with amazing filmmakers over your career and I'm wondering do what do you pull from them that you still use here like is, are there is there something you learned from like Ridley Scott on Gladiator that you still utilize on a Wonder on Wonder Woman? I, I think that when you're feeling really comfortable inside of yourself, inside of your skin, inside of the skin of the character, it's because the director has already allowed you to do all this research and to share with them the research. That's something that Ridley did again and again with all of us on Gladiator and that Patty did with us on Wonder Woman. Mm. Every single piece of research that I brought to her, she was interested in and we incorporated in either the costume or into the character. And, you know, I, I, I said to her, you know what? I'd like to do something completely different with this scene. And then I'd go in and just give it, you know, a shot. And there, there was always this feeling, both with Ridley and with Patty, that every single thing you could come up with was welcome. And wow. you know, at the same time, you also knew that if it was a cockamamie idea, she would just she wouldn't say, "Oh, that really is bad," but <laughs> she would just not use it. You would right? know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 you would know. Well, it's an absolute honor to meet uh, you. Thank, thank you so you. much. A pleasure meeting you. Thanks so you much. Seriously, have an amazing filmography, by the way. Thank